I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about cost of IVF, tips and resources to get the coverage that you need. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist helping people build families for over 15 years with fertility treatments. I practice in Seattle, Washington, and a lot of my patients are concerned about coverage. And this can be pertinent to anybody in the United States. Right now, not every employer and not every state requires coverage for fertility treatment. This is beyond frustrating because the World Health Organization defines infertility as a disease that benefits from medical treatment, but yet different states have different recommendations and certainly different employers have different coverage plans. And so this video is to help you figure out your coverage and help you get the information that you need. I have five things, tips and resources to kind of think about as you are planning. And tip or resource number one is figure out where you live and what that means. So right now, only 19 states have any mandated coverage for either testing or treatment for infertility. And it is just not even that black and white. So it depends on where you live and it depends on a lot of different things. A wonderful resource to learn about coverage and requirements in your state is from resolve.org. Um, go to that website and I'm gonna pull up, um, there's a map of the states here and it tells you a little bit about which states have coverage. And actually on this website, they even have a list um, and drop down menu by your state. Resolve.org is an excellent resource when you're trying to figure out state coverage. And on their website, they explain that even if you live in a mandated state, that might not be the full story. So on their website, um, they have a, three questions that you should ask your employer to really understand if you have coverage or not. And those three things are, number one, are you fully insured or self-insured? Because if your employer is self-insured, it might be exempt from coverage. Number two, is it a greater than 25 plan or a greater than 50 plan? Because again, coverage can change based on these some exemptions. And then number three, is the policy written in the governed state? Because that could also allow for some exemptions. Tip number one is figuring out what state you live in and what coverage is mandated or not in that state but understand that that might not be the full story. So you have to really do your research. Tip number two, a resource is figure out where you work and what your personal coverage and benefits are. I happen to work in Washington state. It is not a mandated state. So companies that employ people in Washington state do not have to provide coverage, but there happen to be a lot of companies that do. So Starbucks, Microsoft, Amazon, a lot of companies in Seattle, Washington and the state provide fertility benefits to their employees, even though it's not required by the state of Washington. So go to your HR department, ask your insurance policy provider, ask if you have benefits and don't make assumptions that just because you live in a certain state and it might not be mandated in that state, you still might have coverage. A couple of resources to learn more about how to ask your employer or figure this out. One is from resolve.org and it's just um, information to ask your employer and help figure out if you have coverage or not. Resolve.org also has ways to, if you find out that your employer does not cover fertility benefits. They have tips and tricks on how to ask HR to advocate for that. So you could be the first person in your company that really brings it to attention that this is important to the employees and you might be able to make a change in your own company. Another great resource I found, 48 companies that provide fertility benefits. It's from a blog called In Her Sight. Um, and so that might be a great article to look at. Uh, you have to double check because it might not be completely up to date, um, but that was a really good resource, like 48 companies out there that are providing it regardless of state. 
Number three, a great resource when you're trying to figure this out is ask your fertility clinic. So the billing team is there to help you. Um, and that can even be the first place that you start. You could talk to the billing team and just say, um, I'm planning to do fertility treatment. Um, can you help me figure out if I have coverage or not? Because that billing team is going to know what the state requirements are. They probably are going to have worked with the company that you work for. And if they if there isn't coverage, they can help with options that are available to you. Um, so just even starting with the clinic and the billing team and the clinic that you're working with, that can be a really great resource and a good tip for getting started, figuring this out. Number four, a great resource is fertility grants. So if you are one of the many people that need fertility treatment, it is not covered by your employer, it's not mandated by the state, this has happened to too many people and there are fertility grants that are available. I happen to be on the board of BabyQuest Grants, which is a fantastic organization and they've helped so many families. There are multiple grants like that. BabyQuest is not the only grant program out there. The best resource that I found the most comprehensive list of fertility grants is again at resolve.org. Fantastic list. It's got links to websites and the organizations and applications and a little bit of information. That might be a, not a totally comprehensive list. And so do your own research too. Maybe there's something in your community or in your city that you might not be aware of. So do a little bit of searching on a search engine and um, just look for these fertility grants. They can be absolutely amazing. And finally, the fifth tip and resource is other fertility warriors. So this is such an incredible community and so supportive of each other. When I have talked about cost of IVF on posts on Instagram or TikTok or my other video on cost of IVF here on YouTube, I have gotten so many tips from people within this community. Um, in fact, on a reels that I put on Instagram recently, I learned about a Facebook group called Pay for IVF. And I have not joined it, but I understand from multiple people in this community that that is a wonderful resource for people where they can um, share information and really help each other. So check out that Facebook group, talk to any friends that you know that have gone through fertility treatments, medical providers you know in the area, talk to your doctor, talk to your nurses. Um, there's nothing like word of mouth to learn about ways and tips and tricks to help you. I really hope that this video was helpful. Let's recap. First of all, infertility is a disease that benefits from medical treatment and coverage should be universal but it's not that way in the United States at this time. And so here are five resources to help you figure out your personal situation. Number one, think about the state that you live in and find out if you've got mandated coverage. Number two, ask your employer, HR, look at your own health benefits. Number three, use your clinic and the billing team as a resource. They're gonna know the local environment or what's available to you um, very, very well. Number four, look into fertility grants. There's an incredible options out there. And number five, personal recommendations and ideas from friends and people that you trust. I hope this was helpful. Like this video if you learned something, comment with questions that you have, subscribe to this channel, and stick around for more learning.